Hello again, YouTubers! I'm SpongeBob101 back here again on the SpongeBob channel, and today we are looking at SpongeBob Comics Annual Size Super Giant Swim Tacular 2018, featuring classics. So, yeah, <laughs> 4 dollars in the US, $5.99 in Canada. This is annual number six, so, you know, it's sixth year in a row that they are having this annual. Um, and it's slightly different this year because. Well, I mean, it really looks different, right? So, um, yeah, the comic store that I got it at, really terrible handling condition. I was very angry, but to be honest, I can't really expect much from them because, uh, well, you know, they really suck. That's just a fact. So, anyways, um, we're gonna dive right in here. We have this little opening page, um, table of contents. So, uh, yeah, for first for the first time in like a long time, table of contents is pretty cool. Printed BC Quebec Canada, June fourth. So this was printed pretty close to when it was. Actually, most of them are. So never mind. Forget what I said. <laughs> okay, so uh, the crew of the United Plankton Floating Studio have one mission: whether it be tales of adventure, romance, comedy, or horror. The stories they create for the pages of SpongeBob comics are always meant to entertain. Okay, so anyways, we have Classics Ahoy, script and layouts by Derek Dryman, Jerry Ordway, and Jacob Chabot, pencils and inks. Okay, so let's dive right in, shall we? Pirate Kids Love Spongebob Comics. Yay. Meet the artist. You know, I, I not necessarily really want to meet the artist of Spongebob, but I do want to meet um, the voice actors of Spongebob. Um, because, you know, their voices are so unique. You know, a lot of people can draw Spongebob. And, I mean, that's the reason why they're multiple storyboard artists and all that. But, yeah, you know, the, the voices are really too unique to, um, have multiple people have it. Or do it, in a sense. Because, again, all these voices are fake and, <laughs> you know, it's for a cartoon, but still. Right. It has come to our attention that SpongeBob comics have little or no literary value. Um, in a sense, yes, but I would suggest that hey, you know, SpongeBob comics is for fun. <laughs> I mean, I'm making these videos for fun, y'all. So, yeah. So walk in the plank. I'm just gonna pause wherever you want. Uh, for each a couple of frames and you just can pause you know read it and all that um, especially for you folks who don't uh, live near a comic store uh, I guess you guys really like these videos and I'm glad to make them because you know we've got to do some videos for Spongebob comics right or at least here on the Spongebob channel look at a Krusty Krab it looks uh, very Romanish or Greekish you know Greek uh, Spongebob and the Argonauts, ancient Greeks. Okay, I, I was looking at the entire frame the whole time. I didn't read that. My bad. So, um, yeah, let's read this. I thought it was a hat. <laughs> the giant uni jelly cornfish. Okay, I actually think this is a pretty good idea. Let's keep reading. Because I'm reading this myself <laughs> uh, while I'm making the video. The Gates of Talos. So they have a, a ship, I guess, with a picnic table for the. <laughs> a picnic cloth for the sail. Hold, adventurers. Okay, so yes, let's just watch this thing. Or oh, really, let's just read this thing. Wordy here, so you may pass into jellyfish fields. Okay, so anyway, we go back to the pirates who are trying to figure out um, how to make this a masterpiece. Chapter 3 20,000 leaks through jellyfish fields. Oh, 
Well, guess who? It's... Where is it taking us? Okay, I can't even flip this. Okay, there we go. So now they're thrown in a prison for some reason or another. <laughs> and guess what? It's Plankton. Captain Planktimo. Gotta love flashlines. I want that golden jelly. Okay, so now the story is developing there and these pirates are pretty uh, glad about it. Greatest sandwich in Bikini Bottom and you put me right out of business. I just realized Mr. Krabs had a mechanical arm, <laughs> but okay. Let's keep going. You don't want to take up too much of your time, right? So, and blow to water blows out your nose. What? Barrel of gum. Only a few left. <laughs> what? So now he thinks that Skewer and Mr. Krabs are playing a mutiny. But I am the captain. We did it, Sponge Hawkins. We saved the ship. There's only one thing left to do. We have to squish. We have to, <laughs> to squash. Why is it we squish, squash, and mosh? Then blow water out your nose. Like, I already remember that. Oh, okay, till we threw Mr. Grass into the brig. What? Okay, Life on the Jelly Sippy. Based on Mark Twain's Life on the Mississippi. So, okay, Sponge Twain and the crew continue their quest for the gel uni jelly cornfish. What's the summer in Rock Bottom? The news of my intelligence has been greatly exaggerated. <laughs> but most of us can't get out of can get it out. Okay, so let's keep going. Dracula. Okay, so um well I guess you see the recurring theme here is basically Oh my goodness, why is this folded up like that? This is the center page too. Well wow, see that's why I really can't trust my comic store to give me a good issue. Um, not that I had a cho choice, I mean they ordered this on demand, but yeah. Um, yeah, Dracula featuring Dracula. Okay, I don't know what I'm saying right now, <laughs> but yeah. So Mr. Krabs is now a vampire. It's drinking all my dollar pills. Okay. So, is there anything we have to do? Are the dunes are we out of this? Chapter 7 The Squiddle The Squiddle Merman Okay, so um, Squiller is a merman now And uh, What would you do if you had talent? That's easy <laughs> You can squish, you can squish what? Uh, then we all mosh Okay so everybody's trying to stop him from doing that. Chapter 8, Moby Dick, uh, Captain Sponge Hab. Well, look at that right there, SpongeBob. Is more about this is more than about more than money, Mr. Krabs. We came out here to find a uni jelly cornfish, and we ain't leaving until we do. <laughs> Look at SpongeBob right there. You gotta love that expression. Well, there is the uni jelly cornfish. So that was simple. Uh, man the dinghy! I want that jelly! Hurry, there's no time to lose! 
faster, you see, Dawes. Row faster. And I almost got him. How are you gonna catch a giant jelly unicorn with a that tiny little net? Okay, we, we don't ask questions because SpongeBob always has some random weird answer. Beards fly right off our face. Uh oh. Prepare to be censored. It's Captain Blah returned to check on how we're coming along with the educational comic. This is unreadable nonsense. Forest spread this trash to the horizon so no child will ever be tainted by his de desecration of the standards of fine literature. I used to don't get even comics are really fine literature. But okay, they are sleeping tight in the break and uh, Spongeman Diaz, inspired by Percy Baishi Shelley. It is quite interesting to, well, have, uh, I mean, a mix of all of these uh, types of writing. Looks like kids, <laughs> and they're attacking us. So the pirates are freed, and uh, this guy here who is uh, still trying to ensure the stories have a high level of literary quality is gonna walk the plank. <laughs> okay. So, uh, okay, chapter 9, the final catch, and we're back to our normal uh, art style here. So it turns out the unicorn is also the same size as other jellies. My net went right through you. <laughs> okay. You guys are missing the point of the whole of our whole quest. Squash, then we can squish, and then we can flop around like a fish until water shoots out of our noses. There, look, a comic in a bottle. Wait, let me read it. <laughs> Squirt. Okay. And an absorbing and entertaining exclusive. Deep beneath the ocean, we have discovered an ancient chest of the highest quality classic comics, all inspired by the briny bard himself. Sea stories from Shakespeare. Wow, look at that. Uh, poor playwrights, Pictof uh, Pictify, Max Squid. <laughs> wow. Uh, compress on the original text so you can skip skip that. Clammy classics, comic size, comic size. And Petromio and Perliet. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they're making out lots of things right here. Uh, Planktonia Caesar. Current plunder from the play by Salty Shakespeare. Okay, again, it's time to the comic treasure chest, and at the back we have, well, Patrick here. High Brawl Tales of the Deep by Jacob Chab and all those great guys. Um, you know, it'd be great if this was actually a pinup, but oh well. Squirrel looks like he's a Kraken there. Got a the, the sailing ship there. So overall, a really nice issue. Um, I'm really happy that they actually decided to do this theme for the animal. Um, it doesn't fit right with uh, one of those regular issues, but it sure does 
when you put it into an animal kind of thing, um, separate from the main line of SpongeBob comics, and uh, I really appreciate their work there. So should you get this, or should you get both issue 81 and this, or should you just choose one? I mean, of course, I got both to show you guys um, what they are all about. But if you could only pick up one this month, this is the one you want to get. Because, um, I mean, you gotta agree that these classics are actually great parodies of real classics. Um, they're not... Uh, I, I felt that the story was a little mishmashed with the pirate story and all that, but, um, you know, you can't win at everything, so... Uh, I'll take it, I'll take it. Definitely go check this out at your local comic store if available. If not, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you choose subscribe, like, favorite, comment, etc. Keep it right here on Ottoman Spunk 101. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Happy Independence Day! Bye bye!